Hi. Um, interesting little roundup here of um, the Easter trip we had, looking for the seals. This is what you would find, or we would have found, I'll just cover that up, <laughs> if there hadn't been any seals in that field. This is a normal field without seals. You get lead, you get lead. <laughs> These are to do with the seals actually, they're to hold the linen down. You get odds and ends of um, whatever. <laughs> you get buttons. The, I don't think that's a coin, it's not thick enough. It's a button. And you get, even though it's been there hundreds of years, you get little toy car. <laughs> Isn't that nice? Look, <laughs> you clean the muck out and the bottom falls out. <laughs> this is the bottom and it may tell us what that is. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, Lesney, England. It doesn't actually tell us what the car is. And of course the wheels fall out. <laughs> it's only the muck that all stuff together. Nice buckle there. Indeedy. And a, oh, this is a really nice clog, clog clip. There's the little bit that fastens into the hasp. This is a clasp. And that's the bit that went fixed into the leather. You see, it's, it's pulled out. That is a nice clog clip. Worn by someone who used to work in the mills. Now this... It's either the end of a cane, the wood went in there, and that's where it was fastened, or it could be um, the end. It's it's a fastener on the end of the rope to to keep the rope together, uh, stop it fraying, so you can thread it through somewhere. They would stick the rope in there and then literally in it in, mm, unless you know better. <laughs> We got an, a 1912 penny. Jackie was the one who was picking all the pennies up and all the coins. She got that nice little hoard, that beautiful that. And then this, if we look very carefully, uh, I can see two ones. Uh, it's either an, a George three. About 1775-ish, or it's a George II. Um, I don't know, maybe, what, 30 years earlier, 40 years earlier. And, so that, that's, that's what you'd get if it wasn't for the seals. Uh, but look, <laughs> that's what you get when you get the seals as well. 94 in one go with between three of us. That was brilliant. And the bits and pieces, the broken ones, they have wires that go through them and the wires rust, of course, and it weakens them. So it's, it's not always our fault that they break in half. <laughs> you pick them up and they go, oh. <laughs> so I've uh, lacquered these ready. Then I'm going to glue them together with Bostic, which works, actually. And then... Uh, identify them. Anyway, let's have a look at, um, I've glued these together and now I can see that it's 1829 uh, 1829 it's got to be 29 um, because there's a St. Petersburg 1928 would have NP up there which I believe is Port Narva and we've got an S PB again, St. Petersburg, so that's a 29. This one is Cyrillic, SPB, St. Petersburg. No date, but um, uh, see that that could be 29, or it could be 31, 34, 36, something like that. Because the other half's missing. <laughs> okay, on to good finds. Jet Ski John with his first Pavlo star. Look, wow, isn't that fabulous? Beautiful. And now it's going a little bag safe, John, right? Okay. <laughs> right, here's the, um, the write up on the Pavlov stars. 
I'll put you the um, URL on and then you can flick and have a look at this on the database. Um, this is why we're jumping up and down. Twelve of them found at the Bentham Mill and there was one found um, in the Great Yarmouth Museum and it, it's, it, it's only partly there, it, it's just a part of one. So tell why we're really chuffed about that. And that's the one that Jetski John got, the uh, number 12. So we'll just have a little, have a little look. This is the Jewish influence around. Uh, you can see the um, the star of David's uh, on gravestones and church, well, synagogues and places. And that's the garb. This is um, pictures of the harbour drawings. And that's a little lead. Uh, it's called the plumba. It's a kosher seal for um, uh, saying that meat and stuff was um, kosher. <laughs> And then, right, let's have a look at the seals that's been found there. See, every, every one, um, and there's all the right up here about what gives, so you can read that as well. And we'll go down to the one that um, John found. There we go, that, that's the actual seal that he found. Star 012, John. Now on the back of these there was that Cadius, that uh, snake, and on um, most buildings in uh, St. Petersburg they've, they've got these symbols. Not that I've ever been to St. Petersburg, but uh, I wouldn't mind. So if you just bear with me while I flash up, we also got a real rarity. Hands of Friendships. Uh, I haven't yet put these on, but this is also where you'd look. Number 7 and 8 I haven't been able to scan yet. But uh, that's what the... You know, they've they only come from around here. They, they are nowhere else. They are unique. Um, see the wreath at the top here and the hands and an altar. It's either an altar or an anvil, and then there's uh, flax and something else up either side. Beautiful seals. And you had, round about the same time, you had these Hands of Friendship tokens, uh, warehouse tokens. Um, really, really. And John, you ought to be really chuffed, mate, because uh, <laughs> there's only me ever found these things, apart from the one you found. Really earned. <laughs> anyway, let's... Um, I'm going to love you and leave you, uh, and leave, leave it at this, I think. And just give John a reminder of uh, he's in an exclusive club. <laughs> See you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.